Trending TV! Catch the one here! Yeah. Welcome back to the channel, people. So, I'm Ari. Come like it up on a 40 days and 40 nights between Shana Chin and Gullibap Wife. So, people, um, Gullibap Wife not allowing Amari to come to the funeral. So, I guess Amari is venting and she's taking it out on Shana Chin. So, back in the days when I think when um, Shana Chin went on stage with Gullibap, they said they are beauty on the beast. So, I guess the beauty is in Shana Chin. And the beast is going back, but Amari is not having it, it's the other way around. Um, so Amari went ahead and exposed um Shana Chin dirty lifestyle. So, people have a part one and a part two of this video. So, this is the part one. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. And remember, I watch trending. J. I'm out. Where you left with your mother and you never look back, but yet you want point finger upon me after you round the place, round the place, and take up this man from the gully. Take up the man from the gully. As just to say, the light shine upon him. You decide, say, you are a blood clot, rob him. What you call it? Beauty and the beast? I wonder who was beauty. And I wonder who was the beast. Because you was living a dog life all the time. You are the biggest hoe around here. Beauty and the beast? What the bomber clot? You were the beast. Anybody where give your praises around here, they shall fall like you. Yes. You ever hear about the water is troubled, my friend? See all step right in. You know, Noah, God's mighty power ha, is moving this hour. No longer will I stand, no longer on dry land. I need a revival. Whoa. In my soul, me never know I say when me meet the man from the gully. Me never know I say my life would have turned upside down. One miserable woman, one miserable woman that thought her destiny, that is destiny laid in her hands. She decided to bring me down because me went into the gully and saved this man. Lord Jesus Christ, she set Dr. Love upon me. Send him U.S. dollars for destroy me. Galdia, Jamaica, are F here and there and everywhere and send U.S. dollars to Dr. Love for destroy me. Just because me giving this man a second chance. She want me. When, when she realize a gullibop, the part on stage and things still are going for gullibop and gullibop, the cheetah girls with Amari and no ordinary girl and gullibop looking good and gullibop teeth about to fix and everything. The girl start a campaign against me. She take over gullibop page. We could not get gullibop page, the page with thousands of fans. Fans that wanted to get in touch with him could not get in touch with him. Promoters could not get in touch with him. He, uh, China Chin was still collecting money for Gullibap to perform. So many people Gullibap got in trouble with because she was collecting money because the PH still said Gullibap. Still said Gullibap and she collecting all these monies and she don't even inform the man that listen, you have a show to do or give the man some of the money. She took it all. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, there I was in Jamaica at Danger Studio and guess who was on the line? Chana Chin. China chin after my man in a relationship for long and uh, for our relationship, for our life, mash up, not now go on for our. Um, Bob, um, yes, may have some show, may have some show for you. Yes, and the man want this amount of money. Too late, bitch. Too late. You already took all of the money for, for many, many shows already. And, and, and mess up him reputation in the, the industry. Cause the promoters, them did not get back the money. And you met the promoters, them things say, I him get it and spend it. And nobody any longer wanted to book Golly Bop. And I was there. And I was she do. Me remember there was a conversation about a phone. Where she said, um, something like she said, but I don't 
don't want to tell any lie on her. But as my memory, you never know, say, Amari did in the studio that night. When you are telling him, say, um, you will give him a phone. When Bob says something about him not having a phone, and you say, um, you will give him your phone. And when the people them call, him can talk to them because the people them decide no. So them have to talk to Gully Bob in order for them release any money to China Chin. You know, see that girl there? When me tell her, say she thief, remember, say a girl used to sell drugs, you know. Remember, say a girl used to carry drugs in her and this, you know. So why you not think this was a decent individual? Why you not still think that this is a decent individual? Nothing is decent about her. She is, according to the laws of America, a criminal. Yes. The worst thing to deal with in life is a deportee as a foreigner. Because deportees always want to put out them stress on people who still they are foreign. Because the dollar, them don't want Jamaican dollar. Them still want the US dollar. Because I was with a deportee, so I know me I talk about. You understand? De de them, them not have no pity. This is a deportee that went to Jamaica and still want to collect U.S. dollars. And she want to collect the U.S. dollars from a man who come out of the gully when need to help him family. See mother over YouTube and the mother say you rob him up all our money. Me not going to say all but 98%. 98%. Yes. But me I left off for your little. Because you woman... We walk around and say you are manager and put out notice and said the family don't want nothing from anybody. You only uh, make sure say you get the limelight because you come forth now and say you willing to bury him. Yes, that's what you say. You willing to bury him. And yet Nico I say him no hear him no know nothing about you. And Andrew Blacks go pan on stage and say, yes, you are paying for funeral. No, you want to stop everybody from ebb towards the funeral by saying the family say they don't want no money from nobody. Why don't the family say that themselves? We don't want to hear nothing from you because you is no manager around here. The only manager is Amari DJ Mona Lisa. I may have got serve the papers to in the UK. A cease and desist letter. Because I know the projects where you're living in the UK. And the bloggers want things to look nice. They not purposely do it. But they are saying, golly bought manager from the UK. So the thing look nice. Let me tell you, no, ladies and gentlemen, this is a pussy who are living at the worst part of the UK. You understand? And let me tell you, la ladies and gentlemen, the one, ones who originally got in touch with me, send me picture and everything. I need you to get in touch with Amari on Instagram, Amari underscore DJ Mona Lisa underscore official and give me whatever you can on all these cameras. Every evidence, every proof, cause you know, go as far as to send me, um, Queen of Pum Pum. Me no need for see Queen of Pum Pum. I mean, I need to see Queenie and show her pump pump to the world. Yeah, we don't show that. Me not in a that right now. You understand? A different thing me depend. I need every evidence against this woman. We call herself Jackie Auntie and say she a golly back manager. You understand? Because the woman is a darn scammer. It's time we expose the picture. I have the picture. But right now, me have to go do enough digging up to get to the picture. Yes, you, Marcia. We work at the radio station and nothing now not go on for you. And that tried to be a singer and nothing never happened for you. Yes, you, ladies and gentlemen, let us do the arithmetic. Draw your paper and your pen. When Amari was gullibot manager, go on YouTube, you will see what Amari did. Gullibot was not allowed to go to on stage anymore. The security guards were instructed that he's not allowed there. Because guess what? The producer in the deal with Krebe Krebe. But when Amari lift up Gullibop, he was so proud to 
um, interview Gullibop because he said, second chances, Gullibop. I am so proud of you. I married dress up Gullibop. Me not even say my man. As a manager, look at how I represent. Look at how I represent the family. Look at how I represent him. Look. In, in clean, him nice, have on him felt hat, have on him jacket and tie. You understand? Look at the vehicle that he was driving. You will see the vehicle in No Ordinary Girl by Gullibop and Amari. Um, Gullibop was in the United States living good. You understand? No, look at this woman. From the time she says she managing Gullibop till now, what have you seen happen for Gullibop? What? Look how him look. A roast breadfruit, a roadside. Eh? A walk around with shit bag. Eh? A pastor bringing him here, there and everywhere upon him, upon him shoulder, the good Samaritan. Huh? Where was the manager? If you're not care for him as a human being, don't a manager supposed to make sure that his well-being is okay? But what you don't know in this music industry, these managers, they stand to gain more when the artist is dead than alive. Because when an artist is dead, an artist that is famous, that artist is worth more. They want them to die before them gone to the dogs, 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 dogs. When people will no longer listen to their music. Look at the lives of Whitney Houston. After she went on drugs, shortly after she died. Because if she had lived... Let me tell you, there would be no legacy. It would be a great loss for the record label. You understand? Look at the likes of Michael Jackson. Lawsuit, lawsuit and allegations in regards to children. He had to go somewhere there. Else the record label would suffer a great loss. What I'm trying to tell you, artists are worth more dead than alive. Is that what you did, Jackie Hunter? Is that what you did? Huh? I am not ready to go into the details. I live. I live. Where your name? Not even remember your name right now. Pringle or whatever your name. What about the life insurance policy that you took out on Robert Lee Malcolm? Huh? And you're here talking about how you love Gullibop. I want, I want my father about people like you all. And I want the family to stop for a moment and realize that Amari was the only one that wanted Gullibop alive. Amari. Danger, where is a song that I'm, I'm Gullibop sing about? Amari, Amari, we need to bring that song forward. And I look and I saw God say, as of today, fans, producers, everybody going to bring forth the truth. I see a lady over YouTube, a white lady, and she said, I did so many songs for Bob. And his manager took them all down. I have bloggers who can come forth and testify. So many videos of Bob and they were taken all down. Let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, what was this manager doing? This clown. Where you say? Where you say? You are come a funeral? Huh? What kind of manager are you? Why weren't you at the hospital? What kind of manager are you? That is what I want to know. What kind of manager are you? You cannot come on the internet and you cannot represent. You cannot show your face. You cannot come and say, my condolences to the fans. My condolences to the family. And we are asking for privacy. Isn't that the way we deal with stars around here? Where are you? Why are you staying behind the fence? Is it because you all are scammers? Is 
that it? Huh? Why? <laughs> Why? Olive, where is Gullibop bank account that he opened up in New York? Where is the money that is supposed to be in his bank account? You kick him out of the house, but didn't you hold on to his bank account? Eh? And hold on to certain things. When Bob call you from Jamaica and tell you that he need money from him bank account, you send him a hundred dollar and in order for him to get the hundred dollar, what Bob had to do? Bob had to come, had to do a video and big you up and act like you are a big friend. And you had to be able to post it before you would even send Bob one hundred dollars. Huh? What kind of thing that? Mo often know what happened to Bob two bank account that he opened in the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, my godfather is not supposed to be suffering at no time in his life. I, Amari DJ Mona Lisa, must have made already a, over a million dollars on Facebook. And if I'm able to make that, my father is able to make even more. We gain money just by talking. Even till this day, if Amari walk on Facebook and Amari say nothing, Amari make money. Thousands of dollars. If I say two words, Amari make money. If I say Amari DJ Mona Lisa, it's Queen of Dancehall. If I just say Queen of Dancehall. If I just tag it Queen of Dancehall. If I just tackle it Queen of Dancehall. If I just point at you and say Queen of Dancehall 2023, Amari gain. I didn't have to collect a diamond thing. Because Amari gained from making videos going to Sting, coming back from Sting. I bought my son to Sting. And we captured everything behind the scene that happened at Sting. And yet I allowed the bloggers to make all that money, thousands of dollars, when I could have made it for myself. Even this podcast right now, I do not post it on my page. None of them I post. I give it to the bloggers. I see them get 5,000 views, all kind of views. And, and let me tell you, that's a good meal. That's a good income right there. And I don't care. Because I believe in the music industry, everything I for share. And my producer, Sicker Rhymes, taught me that. Because there was a time when I was on the street, the bloggers made a lot of money. And only King Mixup remember me. You understand? And... The thing about it, I had to clap down at one point and I had to say, no, the children, the children were young and they were suffering. And so I had to clap down and I had to take control of my channel and make the income. And a couple of them pages come down. I am now willing to set them free. All the pages that were taken down and making sure that they're out there again. That is my recompense. You understand? Because our sick rhymes let me realize their value. Because sick rhymes said, Amari, the bloggers want to feature you, but they're afraid that you're going to take them down. No, Amari will do no such thing. All I ask is that whatever you have to say, whether good or bad, please do not say it in a disrespectful way. Please don't talk my, about my vagina and such thing because my vagina is part. You understand? Just give the people the stories. Use my picture, use my captions, use every friggin' thing. Because let me tell you, some people go to school and it's not as good as these Jamaican bloggers around here. You got what I'm saying? And your caption, please, please I'm asking you, do not put derogative captions about me because I am a human being that have a soul. I will not stand for that, but go on do your thing. But let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, open up your eyes, your third eye and realize all the fuckery that have been going on around here. So many fuckery. There's so much I want to tell you. 
in regards to Chana Chin. I don't know if she have HIV or not, but like I said, she, according to the guy, she sent the paper to him and the guy sent the paper to me. It's a lot of us around here have HIV and we don't know because we don't even get tested for it. And so I advise you all to get tested. I myself got tested. You understand? But according to her, she had never slept with Gullibop. I slept with him. And I made sure I got myself tested over the years. I must ab admit that... She What's trending, J.A. at the Real TV? You don't know what R.T. Boss said that in a real life. Member we rich, royal family. Keep on watch. What's trending, J.A. in a real life. Prosperity thing.